Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn how to use list or container monitoring view in ADF Studio. So this is actually really interesting and very helpful feature that I, I like very much. And this is introduced last month. So now what's happening here, if you see right in my pipeline, I have execute pipeline activity, then I have if uh, condition uh, container here I have lookup activity and then I have for each um, if you remember all time every time you debug uh, your pipeline you will see all the uh, list of the activities in the output tab right here and that's exactly where seen right there so you see right here I just executed my pipeline and I'm seeing the, uh, the flow from execute pipeline right here then if condition and then uh, inner activity and then we have lookup activity right there and then we have a for each um, for each loop uh, iterated twice. Um, so you see right there the inner activity did run twice. Um, so think about situations uh, where you have multiple for each loops and uh, you have multiple activities inside the for each loop and uh, they have to rerun multiple time uh, depending upon the number of uh, the iteration. Uh, now this is very easy for me to take a look uh, but sometimes you end up in pages and pages uh, when you review those uh, outputs. Uh, and uh, it's very difficult. Uh, now with the this new feature you see right here you are seeing list if you click on this drop down you also have container so now let's click on container what is it gonna do is gonna um, change our view so see right there we have a for each loop and all those containers uh, you can kind of click on these uh, arrows and it will uh, just uh, minimize that uh, and then when you click uh, it will expand that uh, now you see right there in the for each I have a uh, wait activity that ran twice uh, but uh, or could have like maybe hundreds of time it could have run and then uh, it will have filled all the pages but I can just uh, click on this one and uh, minimize that one it became really easy for me to navigate uh, to my different parts of the execution or outputs and see what happened at different places so that's the view you are gonna see here uh, you will if you have debug you will go to output and then you will see list or container mostly by default it is gonna be list you can always click and change to the container let's go to the monitoring tab here and in the monitoring we are gonna go and open our one of the pipeline and this is the same pipeline I executed the uh, previously few minutes back uh, and uh, now you see right there in the under the all status uh, uh, this is a, a list uh, you are seeing right there same uh, flow for all the activities which has been executed uh, you can go right here and change to the container and uh, it's gonna show you then uh, the container view and uh, you can just uh, minimize or expand or uh, um, you know see you the way you want to see so this is really helpful i hope uh, this new feature will help you to see the output of your pipeline execution um, thank you very much for watching please subscribe my channel and i will see you guys in next video